Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. Today I will be talking about merging files and how to solve the merging conflict when you have one file with the top allele coding and the other file with the forward allele coding. So first I will show which error message it produces and then how to solve this pesky problem. So first off, uh, I also provide you with the script and also the test data that I'm using in this example. Now it's quite hard to get exactly the data that you want to show also for this example. So I actually searched in my archives and well, I'm sharing with you a data for which I hope I will not get into too much trouble if I am sharing it. So I do so well in an anonymized form and well just the first chromosome, but it is enough to show the problem and the solution. So what we are dealing with. So sometimes you have two data sets that you want to merge them and it turns out that one of them is in a forward coding and the other one is a top coding and I demonstrate this situation here. I, in this case, I included the names into the file name, so we know exactly what's happening, but normally you don't know exactly if it's top or forward coding. It actually turns out just at the merging. When you merge, which I tried now, the following error message appears. So here is the error. The number of variants have three plus alias present. Plink offers also a solution, which is this dash dash flip option, but uh, well, from my experience, this doesn't solve it. Actually, you can check what the exact problem is, and that is when you look at this, well, in my case, this Bostaurus merged MISNIP dataset. So I open this MISNIP data, or what was created by Plink, and it has a bunch of SNP names. So these are the problematic ones. So what we can do, and just to ensure that indeed we have a different allele coding, we can take any of these SNPs and check them in the original data files. So I selected one of these SNPs. This would be this ARS13578. And you see in one of the data sets, in the forward data set is a TC SNP. And the other one, the top data set, this very same SNP is a GA SNP. So the alleles are different. And that is because for some SNPs, some of the alleles are very different in a top and forward coding. And therefore it produces an error when merging. So now the solution is that you have to change one of the files to the other one. So either you can merge two files that are top coded or two files that are forward coded. If you have the final reports, you can also re-extract the genotype data and then, uh, well, you just re-extract the same way, either two top or, or two forward. The problem is, however, that the final reports are not always available. Then you need to do or make or follow an alternative solution. Here I would advise to check out the SNPchimp website, which is shown on the screen. There you can go to the download section, which is here. And if you have one of these species, you are in luck because you can download these files, which you can use to convert between top and forward coding. In my case, this is a cattle data. So I click on the cow icon here, which actually lists a bunch of SNPs and SNP chips. In my case, this is a really old uh, SNP 50K version one data. So I click this and well, I take it in a native form, but it, what is very important that I click the allele coding AB forward alleles and AB top alleles and I download this data set. Of course, if you have a different SNP chip or different species, you change these and adapt these steps accordingly. The file you downloaded is a CSV file and looks uh, more or less like this. Well, it has a, a bit of a differently shaped uh, and uh, formatted header, 
which I changed somewhat to get rid of the spaces that would make the follow-up code a bit more cumbersome. But anyway, so what you have there is a chip name, the RS code, so basically the RS code for the, for the SNP, the allele AB forward, allele AB top, very important for us, chromosome position and SNP name. And if we search for the very same SNP as before, so we see that this was the one, and indeed the one of the coding is a TC, and the other coding is an AG. So basically, with this file, what we have is a translation between the top and forward coding. So what we need to do is to get this file in R, make a really neat file for Plink, that updates the alleles, we update the alleles in one of the files, and we are ready for a successful merging. Of course, I will show you how to do this just now. We are back in R and ready for the follow-up. First thing we do, we load this file from Snipchimp, and then we separate the alleles for the forward coding into two separate columns, and also the alleles for the top coding to two separate columns. If you might remember, in the Snipchimp files, they were in one column divided by the slash. What we need to do is to create a specific file for Plink, for which we need these in separate columns. So we will do it just now with the separate function. We can do all of this in one step, and we do so. Open the result file just to see what happened. So basically, we had the forward coding, and now it's not separated by a slash, but the allele 1 and allele 2 are in a separate columns, and the same thing for the top alleles. The next thing that we need to do is to create a file, which we will use then with the dash dash update dash alleles plink command or option. For this one, you could actually check out the plink website, for the detailed description, but what you will see there is that you need a file that has the following columns. The first one should be the variant ID, so this is basically the SNP name, then one of the old allele codes, the other allele code, the old allele code, then the fourth column should be a new code for the first named allele, and the fifth column should be the new code for the second named allele. So this is exactly what we are going to do. It is really easy to do it in R because what you need to do is just, well, we are starting with this uh, Snipchimp dataset or which we already loaded and we select the columns that we want. So first one would be the snip name, allele top, allele one top, allele two top, allele 1 forward and allele 2 forward exactly according to these recommendations. Now I have to specify something. So in this example, we are changing from top to forward allele coding. So our old allele codes are the top allele coding and the new allele codes are the forward allele coding because we are changing from top to forward. So you have to just keep in mind what you are changing from and what you are changing to. And if you want it differently, you have to adapt also this file accordingly. I just show you briefly how this new file looks like. I named it allele update, well, with a bit of a typo here. <laughs> well, basically allele update uh, top to forward.txt. And uh, what it has exactly these five columns the SNP name and the two alleles for one allele coding and the two alleles for the allele, other allele coding for all of the 54,001 SNPs in, on this SNP chip. So now back in R, we could move forward with the allele update and we will do the allele update with Plink. So we will have the Plink, uh, well, cow, and we actually want to update the top allele coding file so we kind of use this with the b file and we say update dash dash update dash alleles and we give the file name which we just created we create a new binary path files 
with a new name, which I named Bostaros top to forward underscore chromosome one. Running this file, the plink has updated the all the alleles, and also I have to correct myself a little bit because well, it, all, the full chip has 54,001 SNPs, but we are dealing just with chromosome one, which I forgot about. So this has only 3,000. 339 alleles so a bit of a clarification here but it doesn't change anything on the fact that the update was successful and now we have this file also coded in the forward coding so now we use the merge again with plink and we use the original forward coding and now this recoded file this Bostarus top to forward chromosome one we just created and well we run the merge which is now successful and without any problems so this was it for this quick tutorial how to change between top and forward allele coding i hope you liked it i hope you find it useful and that you can make use of it in case you run into similar troubles for now i thank you for your time and wish you a really nice day